Children can begin adding and subtracting in large numbers at the same time they are working with small ones. We've introduced the unit bars and the 10. Your kit also comes with red 100 squares. Locate those now and be sure to choose the squares with the unit grids on them. The smooth face squares are provided to work with algebra which will be covered in advanced video lessons. Now, place them in front of the child with 100 square on the left, 110 block in the center, and one unit to the right. This is the way that we would normally look at numbers, hundreds, tens, and ones. Now, ask the child to get three of the hundreds, four of the tens, and two of the units. Having done this, the child has visualized 342. Now, ask them to get another hundred, three tens, and one unit, and place them in order above the first row of numbers. Now tell the child that adding them is putting them all together and counting them. Have the child count the hundreds pile first, then the tens pile, and then the units. They will tell you there are four hundreds, five tens, and three units. The number would read 453 or 453. Subtraction works in the same way. Ask the child to get out four of the hundreds, three of the tens, and five of the units. Ask if they then take away from the pile one of the hundreds, two of the tens, and three of the units. What is left in the pile is the answer. Three hundreds, one ten, and two units. Three, one, two, or three hundred and twelve. The children are already working in addition and subtraction in large numbers. In advanced stages, multiplication and division are possible. Here's a problem. 13 children brought 12 eggs each for an Easter egg hunt at school. How many eggs did they bring in altogether? By counting the units, the children will see that the hundred square has 10 rows of 10. By adding two of the tens blocks to the hundred square, we now have 12 in each row and we have 10 rows. Now the 12 in each row can represent the 12 eggs. And we have 10 children represented by 10 rows. But we need 13 children represented. So we add three more 12s to our rows for a total of 13 rows of 12. How many eggs did they bring all together? Simply separate the pieces and count them. How many hundreds do we have? One. How many tens do we have? Five. How many units do we have? Six. In numerical sequence, we have one, five, six, or 156 eggs. Large number multiplication is conceptualized simply to a child. This is true also of division. A child went to the hen house and collected 132 eggs and brought them back to the house to clean them. Then the eggs were put into containers. Twelve eggs were put into each container. How many containers were used? Have the child get out one hundred, three of the tens, and two units to represent the one hundred and thirty-two eggs. Now, how many twelves can we get out of this? The child will probably pull out a ten and two units. There is twelve. Now, when asked if they can get any more out, they would say no, but wait. If we put the two tens next to the hundred square, we now have ten rows of twelve. Have the child count them. Then if we add the ten and two units to the pile, we now have eleven rows of twelve. So how many containers of twelve eggs were there? Eleven.